Thank you for purchasing one of our Unity Pro FP4 laser projectors. In this setup video, we'll show you how to control your Unity laser in auto mode as fast as possible. If you haven't already, you will need to watch the Getting Started video first to learn how to initially set up your Unity FP4 base laser projector. Once the laser has been set up and we have established a connection with QuickShow, you can either create your own content or upload pre-made content. If you want to learn how to make your own custom content inside of QuickShow, check out the Pangolin YouTube channel for tons of in-depth tutorials. Moving forward, for our example, let's say we have a logo projection, and this is our logo here. We're going to schedule it to run at 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. every night. With our projectors installed, we'll connect QuickShow and create a zone for where our projection will go. We'll just call this zone Logo and set this zone up in real life for where you want it to go. Then we will go to the logo in the workspace we created and assign that logo to that logo zone. If we play the cue from this PC, it should look exactly how you want it to look once it's installed and running automatically. Now, let's export. Go to File, FP4 Export. And for this application, we will go to Auto, Daily Schedule. Other options for exporting exist with some other options. You can see those here. Now we can drag that logo we created to the right and assign a start time of 20 hours, 0 minutes, and 0 seconds and run it until 0 hours, 0 minutes, and 0 seconds. Click Export and Save to a file. Follow the wizard. Click Apply Color, Size, Geometric Correction, and BAM. This will copy that zone setup we did a moment ago to the projector. Then we'll click Content Intended to be used on specific projectors and select the connected FP4. Click Next and select Export to connected FP4. Then we can choose where we will export locally and then upload to folder 1. Click Next. This renders the queues and uploads to the projector. Finally, let's do a couple last things to the projector itself. Go to File, FP4 Settings. This will open a digital terminal for your FP4. First, we'll set it to autoplay mode. Then, on the right, scroll down to Autoplay Mode Settings. This should be selected onto List and Loop. List number being the one we exported to before, which was Folder 1. Below that, you should set the clock time. You can set it to sync to the connected PC. Note, for the FP4 to maintain time, even when powered off, the FP4 has to have a battery installed. If it does, it'll let you know here and show the voltage. Then you can disconnect your PC from the projector and it'll follow the schedule we uploaded. If you still have questions about setup, feel free to contact our support system by emailing support at pangolin.com and thank you for watching.